and welcome back and today we have a new game we're playing soma it's one that has been recommended and one that's actually been on my list already so i'm very excited to give it a go and to have a look at it uh it was pretty cheap so i picked it up when it was on sale a little while ago and uh my backlog is mad at me because i keep buying new games that are new and exciting and things that i want to play while ignoring all of those old games that i have yet to play that i've been buying for years so <laughs> maybe i'll mix it up a bit and i'll bring in some of my backlog games at the same time so i can uh, work through the list because that's one of the main reasons that i'm doing some YouTube videos is to work through my backlog of games that I've really wanted to play but also share with other people. So I'm hoping to get back into that, but we'll get into Soma. That's the game that we're playing today, and I'm very excited. I've only looked up a tiny bit just to get the idea of the concept of the game and sort of like what type of game it is. So we're going to play a new game. And uh, we're going to play on normal mode. So monsters are dangerous and can kill you. You need to think and sneak to survive the way the game was designed from the start. Um, so we will start the game and we'll go straight into it. And we'll see what Soma is like for the first time. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah. <laughs> the the classic dying in the dream routine i'm a big fan <laughs> um i'm going to have a quick look though i'm going to put on subtitles um just to make sure that we have it um just having a look at everything in the middle was pretty good. Um, I'm going to keep this stuff on for now, just because I don't know what the main game is even like at this point. Um, so I'll just keep this the way that it is, but just adjusting some subtitle settings. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. I'm also going to figure out um, how all the HUD works, but it looks like it's very minimal, so I think I might be able to sit in this corner very nicely so we'll see we'll see how we go um but very interesting tracer fluid interesting concept already so we've got some something about um getting a brain scan we got brain damages oh i can i can ah oh, that's cool <laughs> oh amazing you can just pick up oh i'm a big fan of like really fun like physics like objects that you can just pick up and move around that's like makes for very interesting tracer fluid where are you makes for very interesting um <laughs> gameplay all right let's find the tracer fluid this dude is just like me goddamn uber eats every single night i'm getting hey, better Simon, it's jesse you working this weekend or what i knew there was something you were doing was it this weekend or next anywho just Shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss You Mean It. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Or did you? Maybe you're the one with the memory of a goldfish, mate. Just a brain scan. 
Alright, um... <laughs> yeah! Expensive camera, don't need it. Get well soon, love, mom. I can rotate it this way, view the text this way, cool. Um, yep. Wonderful. Depression sketch. Um, what's going on over here? From David, 2015. The scan, oh, okay, so it's, it's a research. Okay, so he's not going there for like, like a problem, maybe. I oh, know your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain slowly recovering. It's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. Okay. Uh, interesting. So he does have some brain problems. Uh, oh, it's forgot to hit send. It's in his drafts. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, since you probably forgot, he has me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I.e., I'm not coming into work. Uh, this means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. Please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they put on shelves where people are actually able to actually see them. Good luck, you'll need it. Why is he so rude to Jesse? This is such a rude email. And his um, voicemail was so nice. Why is Simon going to be a douche? Let's send him the email. Never. <laughs> oh, no, why did I send it? It was a rude email. I should have just left it. It's too late. Can I recall the email, like real life? This is the drawing that was on that sketch pad. Yeah. <laughs> um, downtown accident kills young woman. The mother and her children were left bruised but unharmed. The other party, a car, as the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trucked in her lungs before the ambulance arrived her friend and driver simon jarrett 26 survived what with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage okay so it's not it wasn't simon's fault it was the woman distracted by her children not good not good what is this yeah, not important. It's an interesting image compared to the, the bleeding blood thing that we've literally just been um, looking at. It looks like the, the one below it is um, is glowing, but I can't really get it. Uh, camera lens. Camera lens. Give me, okay, nothing. Hooked, reading horror novels. Um, let's have a look, to open doors, you first interact with them. Okay, wonderful. Where did you put this? Is it in the fridge? Did you keep fast it? Food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. You got a little salad in the in the bottom there. That's that's not bad. All right, um, let's have a look for the blood vial. All right, got my keys. Um, let's have a look. Should I open my mail? Will it let me open my mail? Doesn't look like it wants me to open my mail. I can just acknowledge the fact that I that I have it. Where did 
I goddamn put... Where did I put my blood vial? Is it in another room, maybe? Massive recoil. Corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. Wonderful. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. That would be very disappointing if that was me, considering how much time I spent in front of a screen. Oh, it's got to be in the bathroom. Ooh, can I interact? I can. Could have turned those lights on the whole time. It is literally daytime outside. How about that? It's so dark in here. All right, let's see. Nothing in here. My nice, uh, my nice bloody rags. I do not lose my items. This is ridiculous. <laughs> keep the doctor waiting. Shall I can wait? interact with so many objects. <laughs> Where is my goddamn blood vial? Let's open the open the windows in here. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Oh god, no, keep that open. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff up here. Any writing on the back? Nope. I guess that is me and the woman that I was in the car with. There's my receipt for the tracer fluid. Ah, the grimoire is the name of that guy. Okay, it's a book from the actual bookstore, the one that I'm reading. And there's my, there's my feats in... Mapping minds. So he's studying how to how to do brain stuff. Um, this is me getting distracted by um, everything and anything that I can just pick up and throw while I look for my stupid tracer fluid. <laughs> I really should drink the tracer fluid before I go see Dr. Munchie. Yeah, but man, where is? Where is it? To do, remind Jesse, pick up meds, flowers for funeral. Oh, come on, get in here. I like to be comfortable when I take a shower for when I get home so I want this to be ready for me I would like this chair to be ready and waiting for me when I get home and have my depression shower please and I will also clip my nails while I'm at it it is not under my pillowcase, which is unfortunate. That is also not my tracer fluid. This is also not my tracer fluid. Oh, there's a cupboard right here that I didn't even look at. There it is. Oh, the cupboard that I didn't check the whole time. <laughs> to use an object you've acquired, acquired, press RT. All right, let's drink this boy. Let's get that tracer fluid in my mouth. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. He needs some milk. All right, well, I left um, a very clean atmosphere for when I get back home. I got my got my depression chair ready for the shower at least. That's what's uh, that's what's important. <laughs> Jesse, oh, you can choose to answer or ignore it. 
Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, I guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over now, buddy. Alright, he's better over the phone than he is via email. Well, this looks Hello? um Dr. Munchi? This looks nice. Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Interesting. What is going on here? At least I can brighten the place up. When it just looks abandoned. Why is this here? Why would you do a clown painting? with a weird little guy surfing the stars. No, thank you. Hello. Hello. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, sent, we're locked out. David Munchy. I found some extra time in the lab. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the cone change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. From David, get your stuff ready. Talk to Pace about using the lab. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. That's supposed to be pretty... Oh. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. It's, the, it's Saturday, though, which is, um, which is interesting. It's like the day after. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Okay, so David sent that to Paul today. Interesting. Okay, so someone someone's already here, and apparently, uh, apparently confused. He's like, "You left your laptop here." All right. Well, I guess uh, I've got to find the the code to the door, don't I? Uh, he said he would leave it on a sticky note somewhere. Uh, in a drawer, baby. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I have a feeling it is that square. Is it that right there? What is that? Two five two five zero one. I wonder if that's the uh, that's the code though. I'll just check the rest. Trial and error. Put the scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Munchie and Berg. So there's our two doctors. Okay, interesting. So, 
keep finding USBs, but I don't think I can actually use them. Yeah, no. Uh, let's try uh, 2501 on the, uh, in that book. Nice. So it is, it is the code in the book. All right, let's go through. All right, we can run now. Wonderful. Date, Monday, James. That's it. And we're really going to have to get used to the whole um, opening cabinets thing, but that one doesn't actually open. Am I doing it right? It honestly feels like maybe it should open, but maybe it shouldn't. Um, locked door. That looks like my room. Oh god. Oh no, I can go in here. Alright, let me let me check this first. I'll just slam the door on him, sorry mate. I got secret secret business in here on my own. Alright, let's have a look. Um scan calculation in progress. Is there anything for me to get out of here? Just a bunch of, uh, just a bunch of computer stuff. Um, anything in here for me? Not really. USBs everywhere, dude. USBs everywhere. All right, I think there's nothing really going on in here. I don't think. Let's just go talk to our uh, let's go talk to our doctor and we'll find out. Hello, sir. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Doctor Muchy? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Muchy, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Yeah. Actually, I'm not a doctor. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Hey, um, before your procedure, I'm not a doctor, so um, let's hope this works. Okay. All right, mate. This doesn't look. Uh, this doesn't look like it's gonna. It's gonna be so bad at all. What exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's go into the brain scanner. Let's do it. Put me in the machine, Doc. All right, let me just get this out of the way. Hacker man, I'm here, in. Correct. Right. Toronto, Canada. David Munchie, born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. This Maybe is gonna hurt. Cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. It's gonna hurt. Oof. Okay. My control has gone crazy right now. Mr. Munchie, did something go wrong?
This isn't funny. Well, I mean, this is... I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... That's a completely different chair. This is kind of stressing me out. Hey! Anyone? Jesus. I am in a completely different spot. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. We got a lot of... We got some fucked up shit going on here. Okay. Um, let's try the service console. I need an Omni tool. Um, so let's find let's find that stand clear doors open automatically. Okay, so let's find this Omni tool. Can't do anything with this yet. Tool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Can I open this? Jesus, all right. Um. I mean, that's one way to do it. I guess, are we, are we getting out of here? Because I can't get that open that way. So I can't get the Omni tool yet, apparently, or anything in there. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to come back here then. Data buffer available. Oh, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp set. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you to Theta safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? Got the mirrors locked out. Okay. What's going on in the break room? Can I get anything to eat in here, please? Oh. What is this stuff that's like stuck to the wall, dude? Okay. Well, I don't like that at all. I don't think there's, um, I don't think there's anything I can get in here. Unless I want a comb. Which is 
very exciting. Or if I want to drink the the goop. The goop. Still out. Machine hanger. Can I um can I adjust the sensitivity? I can, because I was like, man, I'm moving slowly. Oh, that's much better. Oh god. What is happening to my brain? What is that, like, a machine that's, like, alive? Am I dealing with, like, weird little monster machines? Is that what's going on here? Ooh, when I get close to it, it doesn't like it. Alright, well, I guess I'm not going to get close to it then. Okay, you can keep activating the same thing. Um, oh my god, I knew that it would... Okay. Um, it's now moving around. Press and hold RB to lean. Alright, wonderful. Um, looks like it went this way. That's exciting. Alright, let's go follow the robot monster. Can I save whenever? I can save and exit, that's it. Hello? Hello? Hello robot monster dog thing. Is it, is it you? Hello? Hello? I would like to not be jump scared, please. None of it. I wonder what this is. It's like um it's like a weird sort of growth like that has like uh infected machinery is what it all looks like. Got a lot of padlocks on chains, man. A lot of padlocks. Ooh. Um. Who's here right now? Someone with me? It's so dark in here, I cannot see. Oh, okay, so it does that when I get close to something bad.
Is there anything in here that I can interact with? No. Do I have to go through to the bare door? Oh man, I'm just gonna slowly crouch through this, I guess. Um, should I be going to this door? I don't know. Oh, this way maybe? The game did not want me to go here, I don't think. Oh, good! I don't know, should I be opening that door? Um, let me look at the, um, the arrows. Do I, I don't have like a, a map or anything. Oh God, I pressed a button and now I have a thing on my screen. I don't know what that is for. Um, okay, it went away. Um, have I got a, uh, a thing that'll point me in the direction of stuff? Okay, so server station storage and robot dock, but I don't know which way is which. Um, I don't know if I want to try the door. I think I should be smart considering we just had a monster just bash down on it, but it could be a fake out. We will go down the open area for now and we'll see how that works. Okay, and this is this, that's that padlocked gate from before. I guess we're going this way. Uh, I don't have an Omni tool though, so I can't. Um, okay, I guess we have to go through to that door they got bashed on. Okay, we're going to the door. All right, I'm gonna crouch at the door. Hello? There's some goddamn spooky shit in my brain damaged brain of mine. Alright, you better stay back. I have, um, 344 mil replacements. Yeah. Aha! An Omni tool. Smart access computer. Cool. If I pick it up, it's going to trigger something because this is a video game. So let me just have a look around for a hot minute. What is going on here? It looks like, um, okay, I think this is one of those suits that was in the room. So that is a human with no head anymore. How exciting. I've got a weapon. I've got a weapon. I've got a weapon. Don't come near me, because um, I've got a weapon this time. Yeah. All right, give me the only tool. Let's do it. AI Helper Jane. All right, um, let's see my inventory. That's it. Okay, so the inventory pops up on the bottom. It's like minimalism. 
Um, I don't know how to use or get out the Omni tool. I think maybe only when prompted I can get it out. So, um... <clears throat> so let's go to the door that requires the... Oh, maybe I should go back to the, um... Hang on. I should go back to the beginning, I'd say. Where I can use the Omni tool in that room. Finally. Or maybe not. But it's fucking dark in here, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, well, let's go back in here. Hello. Alright. Um, service console. Um, in here. Cool. System status. Emergency systems. 13 days remaining. Sub Simon Jarrett. Terminal scan. David Munchy. Toronto. Operation unavailable. Look at that. That is, the, that is my scan. Uh, welcome back, Louise Muron. Muron, your Omni tool is in perfect condition but not fitted with a tool chip. Without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including a cross-site security access. Please insert a tool chip and run an update. Um, your Omni tool is not fitted with a Cortex chip. Uh, you're currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence helper chain. Installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Unlock the toolbox. Orientation. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omni tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. All right, John. Um, can I have can I have a piece of gear? Can I have gear, please? Um, well, let me. I've unlocked this. So what is this, right? This is a. Put it in there. Cool. Tool chip found. Yum. Cool. I got a couple. All right. Manage tool chip. Update it. Tool Wonderful. Chip security cipher updated. Cool. I can do some stuff. Thanks, Helper Jane. I guess that's it for here. And let me go over here now. Pilot seat three, Epsilon report. Um, let me just go back, because I wanted to look at this first. In progress. I guess this is my brain scan in progress, right? See what words you can find. I found dead, restore. There's a whole bunch of just random words in there. First word I could find was dead. <laughs> uh, Upsilon off the line. 
Pilot status, no pilot found. No pilot found. Offline. Wonderful. Um, cool. Uh, reports. Pilot Carl Semkin, Amy Azaro. Replace heat shields. Having headaches and spells of nausea. Um, okay. Interesting. Uh, wasn't there something else that I could, uh, I could do? That's how I turned that on. Alright, so this has already been done. Basic ductile suits. Uh, number three has unknown contamination. Eh, need to get used to just using the right trigger on everything. Alright, um, can I not have a suit then? I guess not. Um, I was hoping that that would like, I would have, be able to get a suit to like protect me or something, but no. No suit. Alright, so now we can go to that other door. I don't think there was anywhere else that had a, um, that I could use the Omni tool on. I don't think so. Um. Oh no! Um. Shh. Hey, I need to go down this way, so you better chill out. Because I have got a door to unlock. Sir. Are you done? I hope you're done because I'm just going to leave now. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Hey, yeah! Get me out of here, boy. <gasps> oh my god, it's Bioshock! We're in Bioshock, everyone. Wow. Oh, this is cool. But also terrifying. And there's the plane from Bioshock that fell down. It fell down. Okay, so machines got a bit, um, machines got a bit crazy. This drawing's terrible. Oh. So it looks like the fish are eating or getting infected with that stuff back and different thick structure gel they can't shake why w a use freaky fishes yeah there's something about something about these it's got the same um it's got the same um weird stuff i was i was talking about earlier but like infecting the fishes
And now I've got to be the one to go through all this stuff after people have already left, apparently. And this is where I get to question what's real and what's not. Which reality am I supposed to be in? I mean, I can't wait to get bolt cutters. That's gonna, that's just gonna open everything up. See, it's like kind of organic, but also uh, mach shit. machinery. I should have known better. That was kind of obvious that that was going to get me. All right, we'll go for this first then, I guess. Ah! What was that? It doesn't hurt anymore. Hmm. I guess we're only going this way now. It's crawling time, claustrophobia time. Dude, we're like, we have to like hide and run from something that we cannot even see or have not been able to see yet. We've only been able to see like kind of a weird flashing light, but we can assume it's that weird creepy robot dude. Okay, can't go here yet. Station control is that way. I think this was. I oh know we can go down this way as well. Process cooling. That's also shut though, so. Looks like we're going to station control. can go this way, so that's fine. There's something doing something over there. Okay, what is that? Weird organic robot stuff, dude. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect on WAU. Issue has been reported to SSC Walchek. Uh, so don't touch the structure gel leakage. Didn't I just do that to, at the weird, uh, the weird um, anus one? This is another anus one, but it's got but it's plugged into something? Ooh man, this feels dangerous. What if I did this? I 
Should I unplug it? Radio signal blocked insufficient power. What is going on here, dude? Oh, it's plugged into a couple of them. Hey, can you hear me? Oh man, like weird sentient robots or something, or like robots that are struggling with their own existence or something. I don't like it. Oh shit. I don't, I kind of don't want to. Oh man, these robots are like struggling with their own existence, dude. I need it. Why? I was okay. I was okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, I just killed one. What the what the hell is going on here, dude? All right, what do I have to do here? Terminal is locked. something here. Manual boot sequence. Oh, hang on. Uh, these things right here? Aha! Oh. We online, boys! Is this me? Is this me, like, putting my brain back together, dude? Like, this is all of my weird brain shit? I'm trying to figure out the... Why I... Can you hear me? <sighs> I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, single, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh someplace dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Wonderful. That's exciting. I cannot wait! Um, wonderful. I talked to Catherine Chun. Let me plug in this. Can I plug you back in? Let me bring you back to life, robot that I didn't mean to kill. God damn, dude. This is this is so interesting. Back to my point of is this stuff representative of my brain damage, and it's taking over my body? I don't know. And am I trying to fix it? I also don't know. I'm just trying to figure out why I would be here, you know? Like, why would it- why would the game take me- Why would the brain scan take me here? That's what I'm- that's what I'm trying to figure out. Record. 
recorded downtime 143 days. I don't know, man. If this was, like, had downtime for 143 days, I think that person, that Catherine person, would be a bit more concerned than, um, oh yeah, Absalon. Uh, what's, what's going on, boy? What's up? Talk to me. I think before I explore more of this plant and the fact that we've made contact with Catherine is probably a good place to to end this episode for for an intro. Um, I'm very interested. I'm already hooked right in. This is a very bizarre concept, and I'm uh, very interested to see how this is going to develop and uh, how the story is going to go along. So. Uh, this was the first episode of Soma, um, and as always, I'm trying to do the gameplay and the story and the atmosphere over my reactions. I'm just trying to play the game, and we're going to enjoy it, and we're going to get through my first experience playing Soma together. Spooky game. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Soma. Soma. <laughs>